I'm a PhD student at the MIT Media Lab where my research focuses on designing comfortable prosthetic sockets for amputees. There are many amputees in Sierra Leone because unfortunately during the 10-year rebel war, tens of thousands of people lost their lives and about 8,000 had their hands and legs amputated. I was in Sierra Leone during the war and at times when we would run because our town was attacked, I thought about as a kid to make sure this never happens again. In Sierra Leone, I was fortunate enough to be one of the top students in the country. On a whim, um, I decided to send in my application to Harvard and, and I got in. I ended up doing TB vaccine research and it was wonderful, but I still wanted to do prosthetic socket design. They encouraged me to go home and talk to amputees who were there. And what I found out was astounding. When I spoke to them, I realized that they did not use their prosthesis because they were uncomfortable. The prosthetic socket was made out of polyurethane or some material that had super high pressure on their limbs, which leads to pressure sores and deep tissue injuries. This consequently reduces the ability of people to maintain gainful employment and contribute overall growth to the economy. This is like a prototype of my work. It's all from MRI and I use MRI data to figure out um, what the stiffness of each part is. I can do different designs based on the person's anatomy and we're hoping that through smart designs we could be able to reduce the pressure. It's exciting because it's, it's a universal problem. It's figuring out how to make amputees be comfortable, whether you're in America or an amputee in Sierra Leone. This technology will streamline production and thus reduce costs, which will enable prosthetists to fit more patients in a quantitative way and in a shorter time.